Hi, it's Maya here with my September wrap up. And I'm only going to talk about the final four books that I read in September in this one. If you want to hear about all the other books that I read in September, go watch my reading quest wrap up, which is also my whole August and half of my September wrap ups. So since I'm only going to talk about four books in this one, this will be a shorter video and let's just get started. The first book that I'm going to talk about is Lois the Witch by Elizabeth Gaskell. This was first published in 1861 and it is a novella set during the Salem witch trials. Recently orphaned Lois has to leave England to go live with her uncle in Salem and you can pretty much guess how well that one goes. I haven't read any Gaskell before this so I wanted to get a feel of her writing style by reading something shorter by her. And I did really enjoy her writing style, even though the story itself wasn't a great hit with me. It will not stick in my memory for long, but I liked seeing the English woman's reactions to the Puritans. I gave this one three stars. Then it was time for I Sat Rat or I Suck at Readathon's Readathon, run by Sam from Sam's Nonsense. And during it I read a short story collection and a manga volume. I read Tokyo Tara Reba Girls Volume 1 by Akiko Higashimura. This is a contemporary manga that tells about a group of 30-something women who want to get married before the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. The main character is Rinko and she is a TV writer. So far this manga seems to be only available in English in digital format. And I love Higashimura's other series, Princess Jellyfish, so I wanted to try this one out. Her comics always make me laugh, and this one was no exception, even if this subject matter doesn't resonate with me as much as Princess Jellyfish does. This is about 30-something carrier women who want to get married, and Princess Jellyfish is about 30-something geek women who have no money for anything, and for now I relate more with the latter group. But this was still funny and heartfelt, if soapy, and I really do love Akiko Higashimura, and I gave this one 3.5 stars. The short story collection that I read was Engraved on the Eye by Saadin Ahmed, and this is a science fiction and fantasy short story collection that is available for free as an ebook. And I have read the author's debut novel, Throne of the Crescent Moon, and I have owned this collection for quite a while. Unfortunately, no story in this collection was a huge hit with me, and I have forgotten most of them already. All of the stories were okay, they were interesting when I was reading them, but nothing spectacular. My favorites were the two stories set in the Crescent Moon Kingdoms, and I gave this one a lower three stars, maybe 2.5. So that ended the I Sat Rat readathon, but I did manage to read one more thing in September, and that was Water Baby by Sophie Campbell, which I found at the used bookstore. So this graphic novel tells of Brody who loses her leg in a shark attack while surfing, and it's about her life after the attack and about her relationship with her best friend and her lousy ex-boyfriend, and there's also a road trip. This is part of DC's Minx line, which was a line of comics aimed towards teenage girls, but I don't think it was a long-lived line. My favorite thing about this were Brody's nightmares about shark attacks, sharks attacking her or her friends, or about her turning into a shark herself. Campbell's love of creepiness definitely shows in those sections. I would really want to show you one of those, but if, in case you are afraid of sharks or something, I will not. Otherwise, the content didn't really click with me. It was a slice of life about some pretty messy teenagers that didn't really interest me or I couldn't connect to them in any way. I gave this one about 2.5 stars. I really do enjoy especially the art in the creepy sections, but this one will not stick with me. I do recommend Campbell's other works, especially her work in the Gem comics and her Shadow Eyes series. She also has her Wet Moon series, which is a hit and miss with me. But check out some of her other works over Water Baby. So that was all that I read during the latter half of September. Let me know if you have read any of these books or comics. Or if you have an Elizabeth Gaskell novel to recommend to me as my first Gaskell novel. Otherwise that's all from me for now and I will see you in my next video. Bye!